And so when it comes to organizations and their attack surfaces, uh, typically the, these are unchecked and unmanaged because it's growing. The number of devices in the organization, but there's also a number of assets that evade detection by traditional discovery tools. These might be misconfigured Amazon S3 buckets, overlooked QA and dev environments, et cetera. And so you have on-premises systems, cloud services, mobile devices, bring your own devices for employees within our organization. That's adding to your attack surface. And then the phishing and social engineering attacks are becoming much, much more sophisticated. Uh, they're exploiting vulnerabilities in an organization's overall attack surface as well. One of the challenges that organizations have, especially when it comes to cybersecurity in your tech surface, is that you're not effectively leveraging the data you have within your organization. So some of the things to consider. One is break down data consolidation, data silos, and be able to integrate data together. This helps organizations better leverage advanced analytics and machine learning with that huge set of data. Really only machines can make sense of it. So um, bringing that data together and leveraging more advanced analytics allows us to be able to better prioritize. Using machine learning through things like prioritization algorithms, uh, threat intelligence to be more predictive of when exposures might be happening on vulnerabilities is a really key aspect to get more proactive than reactive. So when organizations are looking to reduce their attack surface, uh, there's many strategic and tactical measures that you can take. The top ones I'll mention here, number one is asset discovery and management. So this is really foundational for organizations just to get a view of what your attack surface. This includes all digital assets that organizations need to uh, protect and secure. Second is vulnerability asset and patch management. Again, this is a critical piece for securing, um, for maintaining the security and integrity of your systems. So regularly identifying and patching vulnerabilities uh, prevents attackers from exploiting known security holes within your attack surface. Uh, another is automated workflows and orchestration. So ensuring that you have the right integrations with the insights that are being derived from your advanced analytics and machine learning are key aspects of this as well. So it's continuously monitoring and responding. So ensuring that your discovery is continuous, ensuring that your understanding of your attack surface, the vulnerabilities associated to that attack surface, and within your response to those as well. Attack surface management can also aid in M&A activity and other due diligence or audit type actions. Um, and this is very critical. If you think of this from an M&A perspective, you will be assuming the, the risk of the organization in which you have this m a activity with. So you have to have a very good understanding of, of their uh, risk posture. EASM can give you a view of your target company and give you a full picture of what's being acquired and the associate risk with that. The second is the vulnerability management side of it. It also acts as compliance checks. So it can be used for regulation, regulators within the industry as well. So um, critical for avoiding potential legal and financial liabilities that you might then assume. It's also uh, extremely useful and critical in your documentation, your due diligence documentation, which is incredibly important and needed for regulatory requirements.